door. Now, they were holding for us. They've held long enough. <laughs> We want them to get on with it now. <laughs> it is the reverse. Yeah, the thing is, he's got to look for the starter. On, and the man on the right stood up in the podium. He has to raise his flag. The jockeys cannot approach until he does. At last, before it gets dark here at Newbury. Here's Mark Johnson. <laughs> so they're being called in. Remember, just 17 fence jump now with the omission of the third last fence on both circuits. And they're off for the 2017 running of the At The Races Rehearsal Handicap Chase listed and Boric around the outside of Wakanda are the first two early. Yala Enki is racing in third and then Bishop's Road is racing alongside Sam Red as they take the turn into the back straight before they face up to the first fence. Beware the bear, he's got a couple behind in the early stages the dig out is one of them, and our Kemper is the other, and they rise at the first in the back straight. Wakanda touched down just in front, and all eight are safely over. On towards fence number two, which is the first of four open ditches in the contest. Wakanda on the inside put himself right, safely over. He was out jumped by Boric on the outside. Yala Enki is racing in third, and already they're at fence number three, and Yala Enki got into the roots of that fence. Towards the inside is Bishop's Row. He's still racing alongside Beware the Bear, and between them is Sam Red. And then our Kempfer, and now the back marker, is De Digout. On now towards the last two fences taken down the back straight. And Wakanda on the inside of Boric as they rise over that. Yala Enki was over in third. A break now of about two and a half lengths. Back to Sam Red. And on his inside is Bishop's Road, a little bit wider is Beware the Bear, and this will be fence number five. Last two, Our Kemper, and just a little ponderous over that was De Dig Out at the back of the field, De Dig Out in the hands of Finian O'Toole. As they turn into the home straight, now usually there'd be a line of four fences ahead of them, but just the three this time, so it will be an open ditch, and then they'll bypass to the centre of the course, the first of the three plain fences before they rejoin the race course proper, the second of the fences in this line damaged in an earlier race. So they go over the open ditch, not a great deal between the leading duo, and now they'll angle out to the centre of the track. Boric with the green jacket, the yellow and light blue is Wakanda, and they're followed by Yala Enki. Yala Enki uh, has, right in his slipstream, Beware the Bear. And then Sam Red, and sticking towards the inside is Bishop's Road, uh, Al Kemper and still the back marker as they rise over what is now fence number seven and down at fence number seven was Sam Red and Al Kemper was very badly hampered. So down at the seventh fence was Sam Red. Harry Skelton quickly up on his feet. So is the horse. Al Kemper was badly hampered. He was stopped almost in his tracks and it looked as though the dig out was also rather put off by the fall of Sam Red and he wasn't really having a great cut of his fences even at that point and now he surrendered more ground to the leading group. So they go towards halfway in the At The Racers rehearsal handicap chase, race which was moved from Chepstow back in 2005. This is the 11th running of the race now here at Newcastle's Gosforth Park and they make the run down the side of the course with Wakanda bidding to become a dual winner of the race having won it in 2015. He's alongside the dual course winner Boric racing in second and then sticking towards the inside is Bishop's Road alongside Beware the Bear and the spotted jacket of Yala Enki who's towards the outer and getting closer now bidding to give Venetia Williams a third win in this race. She won it here at Newcastle last year. She also won it once when it was run at Chepstow. Al Kemper was a little low there and still a long way behind the main body of the field is the dig out. So they're about to go through their starting point and about to head into the back straight. And as they do so, Wakanda and Boric are still the first two. They've been exchanging blows throughout. Observing two lengths away is Yala Enki in third position. And then Bishop's Road on the inside rail. He's cut every corner so far. Beware the Bear is now being ridden along in fifth. He's hit a serious flat spot there and Sean Bowen is now beginning to drive him along in fifth position as they go with the first fence down the back straight. Al Kemper is still playing catch up having been badly hampered before halfway and the dig out's not been at the races so far. They go over an open ditch and Yala Enki was sent on there around the outside by Liam Treadwell 
and he put in a great jump as he now comes towards the middle fence down the back. It was in the centre, Boric. On the inside was Wakanda, and towards the outside, Yala Enki. Now, all of a sudden, a break of four lengths back to Bishop's Road, and then Beware the Bear at the moment is going up and down on the same spot. He's just not now managing to get back at this leading group. He's about to be joined by Al Kemper as they go over the penultimate fence down the back, and it was Wakanda who tried to take it with him. And Yala Enki has now gone to the lead. Boric is there in second, now about to take third. Around the outside is Bishop. Road and then Wakanda trying to recover from that mistake he made at the 13th. He was much better at the 14th. Untidy over that was our Kemper who is struggling very badly now as they make the turn back towards home. And they've now got three more fences to take in the At the Races rehearsal chase. And it's the dual course winner, Boric, on the inside of Yala Enki. These are the first two. The previous winner, Wakanda, is digging into the inside and switched off the rail for the first time. Bishop's Road now creeps into contention. So they're over the open ditch, at which in fifth place there was a tired jump by Beware the Bear. And now they angle around what would normally be three out. And Yala Enki and Boric are still locking horns. But only two lengths away is Jamie Moore on Bishop's Road as they weave back onto the race course proper. Beware the Bear staying on then now in fourth position once again. He's just gone past Wakanda. So they're over the second last and Bishop's Road has come through to share it with Yala Enki. Beware the Bear is running a remarkable race and now he's staying on for Sean Bowen. Coming down towards the final fence, Bishop's Road and Beware the Bear in the air together and Beware the Bear has gone on with a half in a win that looked unlikely with a slipping saddle which is going over his hindquarters. Beware the Bear has simply pulled the rehearsal out of the fire. Beware the Bear beat Bishop's Road and Yala Enki in third. Made all the more meritous. Look where his girth is. The saddle has slipped right back. And Sean Bowen has produced miracles there. If you bat Beware the Bear, you need to thank the jockey. My word, they got racing early in the rehearsal chase and beware the bear. Picked up the piece. Now you can see it. Look, Look how far back it is. That is unbelievable. He's got a breast girth on. You see him going around the front of him there. Just stopped the saddle. Stopped I don't, that is, I mean, he would literally, the saddle would have fallen off the back. Absolutely brilliant. I repeat, brilliant ride from Sean Bowen. This horse was going absolutely nowhere. And he galvanized him. And, and Fitzy, it'll be really hard for him now because the saddle, look, you can see how uncomfortable the jock is. The saddle's totally gone. It has. And, you know, like you say, Sean is just, he's trying to do two things make sure the tack Hang stays on. where it is <laughs> and stay on board. Nicky Henderson, second in the Labricks Trophy, wins the rehearsal chase up at Newcastle with Beware the Bear beaten at Newbury by this lot. The Slaneyville Syndicate have won the big race at Newbury. That's John Kelly, the uh, chairman at Labrooks, presenting the prizes. Paul Townend, the victorious jockey, but all credit to Willie Mullins, the master Willie Mullins. And afterwards, Alice has spoken to a few of those owners. Okay. The boys were with an amazingly happy team, the Sladyville Syndicate. Winner! Come on, Tunnel! Jerry, tell us the story. The story? When did we buy him? Uh, Desi Hughes got me good to him, uh, bought him as we've been in the point to point, uh, off the Neelands down in Galway. Uh, and uh, look, uh, he was a five year old winning the point to point. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, I suppose, you know. Uh, um, I have to give this race to Desi Hughes today. Uh, uh, you know, we have great memories of Desi. Oh, uh, absolutely. Listen, Dave. Uh, sorry, but I'm not, I'm not taking from Willie Mullins. He's a genius in what he's done. Yeah. Uh, and and, and uh, Sandra trained the horse for us, uh, you know, and she retired there at the end of last season, whatever. Uh, but I must say that she really nursed the horse along. Uh, he he got a, he got a, he got an awful uh, bump in the in the lab in the. Leperstown uh -huh. chase back uh -huh. in January. Uh, he was going to win that race, I believe, yeah. uh, and, and uh, he got a terrible toe in it. Uh, and Sandra put him on the easy list after that, and he's a horse this year. So it's, I he's a man this year. A com a coming, yeah, of man. Age. coming of age. But again, all credit, all credit to William. And who are all of you lot together then? Yes, Family. yes. Family. We're, all, we're all, we're all, we're all the Byrne family. Uh, I'm the baby. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And, I, I get, and I'm the good-looking one. <laughs> I get the feeling there's going to be a bit of a party going. Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah
know what happened to it. You three won't know what's happened to it, boys. Isn't that fantastic? Congratulations to all of them. And you wonder if Arnie might have backed Total Recall as well. What about the horse you backed in the big race here, as we like to do on ITV Racing? Ollie's spoken to some beaten jockeys. Brian Hughes. Yeah, he's run well for a long way, and he's just kept galloping and picking up past him. Maybe softer ground might help him. Aidan Coleman, V to the Rock. Uh, yeah, he was just flat out early, can never get into it. Harry Cobden. Um, finished fourth, ran out to blind a travel and jump. Pleasure to ride. Cheers. Adrian Heskin, single farm payment. Yeah, um, just obviously fell, but it was a crucial time of the race. Um, I had to go for him, it was the horse coming through, but I was good enough to get there, I don't know. But please. Sean Flanagan, a genie in a bottle. Yeah, I was just flat out all the way. Um, got into a rhythm jump, but I was just chasing my tail from the second we jumped off. Cheers. Davy Russell, Whisper. Yeah, it was a great run. Um, Travelled really well. All credit to Henderson and the team. They had him here in tip-top shape. Yeah, very quick and very good. Well done, Ollie. That was really good. And really good to see Adrian Heskin up and all right after his spill in that race. Let's clear things up at Newcastle. The At The Races rehearsal chase was won by Beware the Bear, picking up the pieces at 11-4. to 4.